Hello and welcome. I'm sure many Kenyan youths have once lived in a bed sitter. It's quite frustrating when the design of the house makes it so hard for you to turn off the lights, especially at night. Today, I want to show you how you can overcome such a challenge. For this project, I'm using a 7 feet flex wire, but you can change the length to fit your situation. I will carefully remove the plastic coating on both ends of the wire to expose about 2 centimeters of the conductor. On one end of the wire, I will fix a bulb holder and the opposite side, I will fix a switch. I will estimate about 15 centimeters from the bulb holder side and carefully cut one of the wires. This will allow me to fix a B22 adapter that will be used to connect this extension to the fixed bulb holder on the ceiling. I start the project by gathering all the items that I will need. The bulb holder, the B22 connector and the switch. Some of the tools I will use are a screwdriver, side cutter pliers and a scalpel. I'm using a scalpel to remove the plastic coating on the wire and expose the conductor. This is done on both ends of the wire. Two centimeters of the conductor is enough. Remember to twist the strands together in order to make good connections. Open the bulb border, loosen the screws on the connector. Take one end of the wire and insert in the bulb holder cap first. Insert the wire into the terminals and fasten. Ensure the contact is intact by a slight pull on the wire. After this, screw back the bulb order cap. We repeat the same procedure on the opposite end of the wire. Take the switch and open it to expose the terminals. Be careful not to lose the plastic ring that comes with the switch. Insert the plastic ring in the wire first. This ring is crucial in reducing wire strain on the contacts. Loosen the screws on each contact. Attach each wire on its own contact. Check your work carefully after fastening the screws. For safety purposes, there should be no chance the wires should connect to each other. Position the plastic ring back to its groove. Put back the lid, ensuring that it is aligned accordingly. Insert both nuts and fasten the switch. Here I am estimating 15 centimeters or half foot from the bulb holder side so that I can get to attach the B22 connector. Once I mark the point, I use a scalpel to separate the two wires. You need to separate the wires at this point because we just need to cut one. Once I have successfully separated the wires, I use the side cutter pliers to cut one of the wires. I use the scalpel to expose two centimeters of the conductor. And as usual, you twist the strands. I open the adapter. Insert both wires in the cup. Loosen the B22 terminals with a screwdriver. Attach the wire ends on the terminals. Fasten the screws and ensure the terminals are intact. Put back and tighten the B22 cap. I think this is a simple enough project, quite safe, as long as you recheck your connections each time so that they are intact. Here you can see me attaching the B22 adapter to the seating bulb holder. And sure enough, the extension works. Now the only thing remaining is just to suspend the switch next to my bed so that I can switch on and off my lights from the comfort of my bed.